Hey everybody, Cole here with Classic Mini DIY. Now, I know it's been a little while since I've done a DIY kind of type video. I know I've been working on the garage and I'm still working on the garage. Um, I'm kind of doing this in between so you're kind of seeing a sneak peek of what's coming up in the garage remodel. But I wanted to get out here and post a video on something that I've had requested multiple times and that is what tools should I get to work on my Classic Mini? Now, to separate this out, I'm going into three different categories. The first category is what are the things that I carry with me in my Mini all the time? And I do that because my car's old and your Mini, probably old as well, and it breaks down, it happens. And so, you know, there's a set of tools, a set of things that I really carry around with me at any given time so that I can fix things if something goes wrong while I'm on the road. The second category is what is the stuff that I keep in my garage and what are the kind of primary tools that I would keep in my garage if I was just getting started on working on these cars. And then finally, the third category is tools that would be kind of a nice to have, something I'm really happy to have in my garage. You don't necessarily have to have them in your garage, but it's something that I would recommend having and will make your life a ton easier as you're working on this car in the future. So let's take a look at the tools on my workbench here and I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so to get started, I've got my tools laid out here and I'm gonna go through them kind of one by one to show you guys exactly what I keep with me. Um, one thing I do wanna mention that all the links in the description below are either affiliate links with Amazon or affiliate links with 7 Mini Parts. So if you guys purchase any of these tools, you purchase anything on Amazon through my affiliate links, it helps out immensely on the channel. I'd also set up a small kind of a, um, recommended parts and things list for the Classic Mini on Amazon. So check that out in the link below. Um, I'd really appreciate it if you get something, you know, use those affiliate links. It doesn't hurt you, you pay the same prices, but I get a little kickback from the things that I link to you guys and you purchase. So to get started, I have a tool roll here and I purchased this on Amazon. It's actually pretty dang cheap. And I thought it was pretty cool. It looks uh, kind of classic and it doesn't stand out in my Mini. But there's a few things that I keep in the car all the time. And it's pretty simple tools, but these tools can really get you going anywhere you need to go um, if something breaks. So, you know, you have your vice grips, you have your, you know, Phillips and flathead screwdrivers. I like the longer ones because it helps me reach some of the smaller places. But I also have kind of a standard, you know, discount tire uh, pressure gauge. But there's a few things that I keep in here that are a bit unusual. Specifically, you can unbolt and bolt just about anything on the Mini if you have a half inch, a 9 16 and a 7 16 wrench. If you have these three wrenches, you can tackle so many of the jobs on the Mini. You know, everyone's like, oh, I need to carry this huge, uh, you know, a box of ratchets and wrenches and that's great if you're going on a long trip, but if you're around town, it's not really necessary. These three will save you 80-90% of the time. In addition to that, I found this really cheap test light. Um, I don't even remember where I found this, but tiny, tiny test light. Find a ground and will help you, you know, kind of troubleshoot any electrical issues you might have. And then finally, I don't always carry this one around with me, but I like to. Um, I don't have a second one right now, so I don't keep this in my car all the time, but this adjustable wrench will kind of uh, tackle the things that you can't get with these wrenches if there's enough space. Um, the Mini's kind of small, so you end up having some problems getting to some things with this. And then, of course, a pocket knife. Simple and very useful. So that is kind of what I carry around in the car with me. But I've got a bunch of other tools at home that I've accumulated over the years, but the kind of primary ones that I like to keep in my tool set and that I think are really important to have are a set of sockets. And I like both the short sockets and the deep well sockets. Um, I don't have a full set right now because they're just missing and broken and all over the place. I really need to get a new set, but um, short and long sockets, really, really important. Um, you know, with the small set like this, you can hit all the jobs really on the mini that you need to. Obviously a ratchet for those 
uh, for those sockets. And then various wrenches. I just get a nice wrench set. Um, I really like these ratcheting wrenches. I have them in my car kit as well. They're super helpful and just speeds up jobs as you're working on them. Um, in addition to that, I think that this is very important if you guys have you know, any aspirations on doing something you know, more involved on the Mini, and that is a torque wrench. And I'm not talking you know, a cheapy torque wrench that you can you know, buy for 20 bucks on Amazon invest in a good torque wrench. These things are immensely important and it's extremely important that they actually torque things to the spec that you set it. So, you know, don't cheap out on this tool. You can cheap out on some of the other stuff if you uh, need to save some money, but get a good torque wrench. And they make really small ones too, which is great. You know, it's, it kind of uh, can help you torque some of the things that might not necessarily get torqued to spec. So that is a wonderful thing to have. And on top of that, there are kind of like gasket kits come with a big kit of just random gaskets that, you know, are used on your car. And I love having extra gaskets at home. Um, I carry some of them with me in the car, kind of for the carburetor, um, the SU float bowls, because those like to leak a lot. Um, and a few other just kind of random knick-knacky, uh, gaskets. I've got gajillions of gaskets and honestly this is the only way that I would that I would roll. I, uh, I just love having extra ones. One of the most annoying things is you're working on this big job on the car and then you can't find that like 60 cent gasket for the job and you end up having to wait you know a week to get those if you're in the United States you know or shorter and it's very, very frustrating. Strongly recommend get some of those kits, maybe get one or two of them and just tuck them away, store them somewhere in your garage. They don't need to be there all the time, just there if you need them. It's wonderful. In addition to that, I also keep fuses uh, around. Um, the Mini, my Mini uses these old glass fuses, so I've got a few different amperages and things like that. Keep that around. That's a really good thing to have around. Um, if your Mini has newer fuses, obviously keep those around. Um, and finally, the only other thing that I would strongly recommend keeping in the garage and always having around is one of these kind of cans of grease. I really like this um, fully synthetic grease, especially the one that can support wheel bearings and chassis, anything that's high temperature. This will tackle most of the needs you have for grease and lubrication. Um, I used to keep little brushes around, but I kept losing the bristles and the grease, and then I'd have to spend a whole bunch of time cleaning it back off. So gloves and grease, and you can just apply it right with your fingers, throw your gloves away. Now, that brings me to one other thing I don't have right here, but it is Venom, uh, but it is nitrile or latex gloves. The ones I really like are made by a company called Venom, they're incredibly strong. They're made out of nitrile. It's not uh, latex. And they just, they hold up. I don't like getting dirty hands. I love working on my mini, but it's after a while, cleaning grease off of your hands every single time you work on the mini gets really old. So keep them around. I, uh, I have a big old box of them over there and I just grab them really anytime I do something dirty. Now, in addition to that, I keep various other tools in the garage, you know, hammers, drills, things of that nature. I think those are very important, but kind of not directly related to the Mini. Um, obviously, you'll use them on the Mini. It's not necessarily something you got to have in your garage. One of the hammers that I do really love is my rubber mallet. This rubber mallet has seen better days. It's starting to chunk out on the top. I probably get a new one soon, but this thing is so helpful. It is just the right amount of force sometimes and you end up not damaging anything, which I think is pretty important on these old cars. You don't want to break anything. Now, diving into the nice to have things. Um, there are a lot of nice to have things on the Mini and it would take me hours to go through everything that would be nice to have in your garage. But the things that have really stood out to me um, working on my car and uh, doing these videos specifically, um, there are kind of a 
There are some mini specific tools and things that are not really mini specific, but are uniform on all cars. And it's kind of nice to have if you want to work on a more modern car as well. So one of those things is a ball joint splitter. And this thing is legit. It's made out of hardened steel. There are some that are kind of like a fork and you got to hammer the fork into the ball joint. Don't recommend those. They suck. Um, this is where it's at. You place this over the ball joint. So it normally sits like this, but I'm going to show you this way so you can see. And the ball joint sits in here. And as you screw this, this gets pressed downwards and essentially separates that, that, uh, that ball joint. So these are great to have. You'll have to use them if you ever take the suspension apart in the front of your Mini. Um, they are sold all over the place. They're sold at 7 Mini. They're sold on Amazon. They're sold at Advanced Auto. Um, but strongly recommend getting one that you screw in like this instead of the hammer type fork method. Um, those ones just always fall apart and you end up hammering your hand and you get really pissed off. Do not recommend. Now, another thing that I would recommend having in your garage is a bearing puller. And this one is kind of wild and crazy looking, but the general concept behind it is that this end, this little pointy end, gets placed on your hub, and then these hook around the bearing. And you screw this end in, and it pulls the hub off of your axle. And this thing is great. It ends up preventing you from having to like hammer the hell out of your hub and um, just makes the job much easier. It's not really required, but if you do wheel bearing jobs, it's like I said, nice to have. Now, in addition to that, I usually keep a few other mini specific things around. This is a windshield trim inserter. Um, if you have ever had to put a windshield in, you know it's a pain in the butt. Um, I'm looking at you total car reviews. I saw that uh, windscreen install and I know that was a pain in the butt. So um, I've done it a couple times and uh, you know you kind of get a little bit better at it, but not really. I'm still pretty, pretty shit at it. So this good thing to keep around. They come in a cheap version and a nice version. And I think this is the nice version. Honestly, they're very similar. Um, in addition to that, I keep a set of uh, ignition leads around just to test. And then on top of that, keeping around ancillary items on the Mini is really nice thing to do. The gaskets are something that I think is really important. But in addition to that, keeping like rubber pieces for your ball joints, um, really anything that uh, serves as regular maintenance items, um, they're really nice to have around. Um, like this thermostat, really great to have around as well. Um, I have a winter and a summer thermostat because my car runs hot. I haven't been working on it for years and I've just never been able to get it to run at the temperature I like. So in the winter, I switch it to a thermostat that keeps it warmer. And in the summer, I switch it to a thermostat that keeps it colder. So that is something I keep around. And then wheel bearings, um, you know, new ball joints, new um, suspension pieces, all sorts of stuff on these minis. But the thing that is most important to me is being able to accomplish the job when I'm working on it and not having to wait weeks and weeks to get something done. So that is the kind of mentality that I would say is the best way to approach this. That way you end up in a situation, oh, I need to change my throttle cable. I have one. Oh, I need to replace the thermostat. I've got one. Just walk into the garage and grab it. So that's really it for the tools episode. Um, you know, this is just my opinion on what tools you need to have in your garage and your car, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and opinions are like butts. Everybody's got one. So if there's tools that you think I missed or you think something in here was total crap, you know, tell me in the comment section below. You know, everybody can see that stuff. So there's tools, they can get recommendations for additional tools down there. And I think that's great, you know, if you guys feel like sharing that with us. Now, just to reiterate, I did set up a cool influencer store on Amazon and it has links to kind of like all of my favorite products, the things that I use in my garage, my mini, my just work life in the, in the shop. And uh, if you guys buy 10 things amongst the, the, all the subscribers I have, if you go in there and buy 10 things out of that store, before November 12th, I get a $50 gift card from Amazon, which will help me buy 
more tools to make more videos like an alignment job on the mini or like new cool tools that allow me to make some sort of engine rebuild or something. You know, that $50 goes a long way for this channel um, and the things that I can produce for you guys. The only other thing that I wanted to talk about today is I have partnered with another YouTuber and if you haven't heard of him, his channel is called Total Car Reviews and he does this really cool segment at the end of each video and it's customer cars and I think that is a great idea. So I'm going to start that on my channel sponsored by Total Car Reviews. Check out his channel. I have a link to it somewhere. You know, it's going to show up here or there or in the description. It'll be somewhere. You can find it. And I want to showcase some of my fans' cars, you know, right here on the channel. So if you want to send me a picture, a video, um, you know, a video of it just running or, you know, whatever, send it to the email address that's showing up, you know, there-ish. And I'll pick one of my fans' cars every episode, and I will run a little segment at the end of that episode showing the really cool cars that you guys have because you know my car is you know neat and everything but it gets kind of boring and i want to show you guys you know all the other cars minis that are out there if you want to send me something that's not a mini that's cool too but i will kind of favor the minis just uh just spoiler alert um but again that is a segment that i'm adopting from total car reviews check out his channel really really cool videos doing some great stuff with his mini project right now and i've been seeing on his channel that he might be picking up a new project here pretty soon too so check it out link below link somewhere otherwise have a great day you guys thanks for watching and motor on